Hello again, Bob, Vintage Lambo. Uh, let's get into the guts inside uh, this upright. So we have this ring that we put our tension into all the bearings. Let me just take that out for a second. Uh, first thing you need to do, clean it up before you take it apart. Try and get this outside all cleaned up. You're going to discover that there's a set screw right here. This has to come out. It's like the first thing to do, take that out. If you don't, you're going to break a tool. Um, definitely break a tool. So if something's not coming out, you got to start thinking, hey, what's going on here? There's a couple things to think about depending on the model that you have. Some of them um, are left-hand thread and right-hand thread, or in this early car, uh, they happen to be both right-hand thread. Um, you know, I'm not here to explain why they did it. It's just that's the way it is, and we go with it. So, um, obviously, some new seals need to be put into this thing. Um, this part here, this is the inner race. You have a roller bearing, and this inner race is going to be pressed onto this. Um, I, I modified a puller to, to do it, but uh, a friend of mine, he made a purpose-built really cool uh, for it. It's always nice to have a purpose-built tool. Uh, if mine fails, I think I might just go and say, hey, maybe I'll make that. That would be a fun project. All right, so uh, this bearing is the one that's on this side. We clip it in with these uh, C-clips in, inside the uh, casting. So, so there's a couple grooves in here, and we're going to put these in with the bearing. And uh, you can see uh, this, how the seal's going to fit in here, all that good stuff. All right, so let's do a few more things, what to look out for. Uh, 172, that's what the part number they put onto this one is because we have a 172 over here. These are matching. This is a match set. If you break one of these, uh, sometimes people, they, they hit the heck out of it or what have you, I don't know. Maybe it was in an accident. It'll break off here. And you say, oh, I just need this part. No, 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 no. You need the matching part. Here's a, here's one right here. It, it's a spare. And look at that. It doesn't look too good. But you know what? The numbers match. We can cl always clean something up. This is an a invaluable piece to have. But if you're trying to buy one of these, you have to have the matching number. So again, uh, these are left and right also. They happen to mark this one, which is great. And you can see that uh, these, uh, these have a left hand and a right hand, depending on the side of the car. So you don't want to just put this axle in and, and figure out you put it in the wrong one. So take it easy, take it slow, be methodical about it, and you're good to go. All right, so, you know, basically new seals, uh, the bearing, uh, we put the bearing in and we, we hold it in with these babies. This has been pressed in, a new one pressed onto this. Uh, we have a collar here, and, and this is like a, a tension collar. This goes on, hits here, right here. It's going to hit right here. So now all the pressure is right in the center here. No pressure on the actual bearing here at all so that's how that works now to keep it all together we have this this collar so when this screws in and the factory did it the factory went ahead and you know once it got all tensioned up to where they they had a special machine then they drilled it down and then they tapped it and then that's where the set screw goes so you have a specialty tool here and so you have the the pins here that line up with this, and then you screw it in. So that's about it. Uh, just to let you know, the factory doesn't do a, a, a very good job of marking 
how this is going to go on to the splines. Now, it only wants to go on really, there's, there's one way it really wants to go on well. So you got to find that if you can't find the marks. Or when you're taking it off, go ahead, mark it before you take it apart. Put your marks on there. Then you know when you take it off, you're not having to rely on the factory, what the factory did or didn't do. Okay. Well, please like and subscribe. Let's keep the, uh, the this going. You know, if you want to get some great insight, uh, just go into Vintage Lamborghini Garage and join. You don't have to own a car, but if you are thinking of owning this car, you need to join that before you buy the car. Get your feet wet on finding out how things are. The community is great. There's like a thousand people on there. So that's my recommendation. So please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.